Sairam students, welcome back once again. In this session of English literature, we are going to continue with part 3 of English New Voice, chapter 13, Tremendous Tree. We completed this chapter in the earlier two lectures. But in this session, we are going to go through its value points and also we'll discuss the vocabulary that are part of this lesson. So let's get started. <clears throat> value points. This read is about how the residents of a colony in Delhi were suddenly deprived of water only to discover that the other lanes in their colony were receiving a regular water supply. Investigations were carried out by contacting the concerned authorities. Drains were dug to solve the mystery of the errant water supply. No explanation was found until the last stretch was reached. The laborers, the water supply officials and the residents discovered that the Gulmoha tree that stood 25 feet away had sent out its roots to enmesh the pipeline and draw water out from the same. The people who saw this sight were filled with a deep sense of respect for the tree. They were in awe at the sheer strength and determination of the tree to solve the water crisis in summer times. The people not only admired the beauty of the tree but also resolved to water it regularly. So students, this chapter, it helps us understand that we need to work hard and even if we get we, we do not have sufficient resources. Still, we should strive towards achieving it. We need to have strength and determination to solve our problems in life. Now, moving ahead, let's discuss reference to context. Answer these questions with reference to the context. Now, I hope you have your English textbook with you. When you open this textbook, at the end of the chapter, the next page you have this question, reference to context. We'll do the first one and the remaining ones you'll get it in notes. It was obvious that someone was stealing the water in our lane. So question one, how did the writer come to this conclusion? How did the writer come to this conclusion that someone was stealing water in their lane? As it was just 11 houses that were deprived of water in the entire colony. The writer came to this conclusion as it was just 11 houses that were deprived of water in the entire colony. What was done to investigate the matter? What did they do? The next step was to complain to the relevant authority to look to the look into the matter. So what did they do? They complained to the relevant authority to look into the matter. What was the result of the investigation? The result was that it turned out that the authorities were faultless in their supplies. So what was the result? That the authorities were faultless in their supplies. They were doing their job well. So these three questions are part of the first reference to context. Now moving ahead to vocabulary. Given below are some scrambled words. Use the clues provided against them to unscramble them. What does the question mean? There are some scrambled words given here and the clues are provided. Okay, 
explanation is given about that word and with the help of that explanation with the help of those clues given over here we need to unscramble we need to find the correct word the quality or state of being truthful what is that quality of being truthful honesty so the first answer is honesty this is what remains after wood burns and it's also a tall european tree it's also the name of a tall european tree so what is that what is that thing ash the sister of one's father or mother or the wife of someone's uncle okay it's a very easy one so the answer is aunt the next one the smallest particle of matter also the particle used in a nuclear bomb is the smallest particle of matter and this particle is also a part it is also used in nuclear bomb so which which particle is this atom the next word is anger intense rage so what is the answer here wrath sixth one the reflexive form of you reflexive form of you i know myself and you know yourself the reply or solution to a question and we are looking for that so what is it answer and now the next one careful so what is the other word for careful cautious okay so we have unscrambled all the given words now coming to the next question which is fill in the blanks using the correct word from the ones you have unscrambled okay so we unscramble these words honesty ash aunt atom wrath yourself answer cautious so using these words we have to fill in the blanks let's see how much you are able to answer there is a lot of dash left from their bonfire the wind will blow it into our eyes okay so when bonfire is lit up what is being used wood okay and what is left behind from the bonfire ash correct so the answer is ash she was referred to as dash kusum by all the children in the colony so what was she referred to as aunt kusum mahatma gandhi was admired for his intellect his dash and patience we all know mahatma gandhi was known for his honesty and patience you must do all your work dash so what is the answer here you must do all your work yourself and dash bomb was dropped on hiroshima and nagasaki in 1945 by the americans okay so what is the answer over here let me tell you here we it should be dropped d r o p p e d dropped so the answer here is an atom bomb okay an atom bomb was dropped on hiroshima and nagasaki in 1945 by the americans peasants who did not pay their taxes had to face the dash of the tyrant had to face the what will be the word for anger wrath you must be dash while playing with fire as there are chances of your being burned you must be what will be the answer you must be cautious while playing with fire you yeah, as there are chances of your being burned first of all children we should never play with fire okay 
So there are hundred percent chances of getting burnt if you play with fire. There is no dash to my phone calls. There is no answer to my phone calls. I hope students you have been writing the answers in your textbook. And we are done with this question as well. Moving ahead to the next question. Mark these sentences as true or false. So let me read out the first one for you. The problem faced by the residents of the houses from C2 to C12 was that the gulmohar was hurting their eyes. Is it true? Was the gulmohar tree hurting their eyes? False. While everything began to wither away, some things did not seem to be affected by the summer heat. These were the people who lived in the colony. So, is this the answer? Is this the correct statement given over here? While everything began to wither away, some things did not seem to be affected by the summer heat. These were the people who lived in the colony. Were the people not affected by the heat? No, people were affected. The residents were affected by the heat. So, this statement is false. The resident of the houses from C2 to C12 felt the need to investigate the cause of the problem further because their houses were the only ones facing the water crisis. So, this particular the residents of this particular blocks from C2 to C12. They wanted to investigate to find out the cause of this problem. Is that true? Of course it is. So the answer is true. The next question. At the end of their investigation, the water supply folks found that the roots of the Gulmoha tree had thrust inside the water pipe. Is this statement true? Yes. When the water supply officials, the laborers, when they when they unearthed the place, they found that the roots of the Gulmoha tree had pushed themselves inside the water pipe. So this answer is absolutely right. It's true. Now the next one. The tree managed to survive because its root grew subroots that pushed through the pores of the cement water pipes. So, students, you remember that the tree has its subroots, those thin hair like roots, they pushed, they thrust themselves into the uh, minuscule pores, into those minute pores of the cement water pipes. So, this statement is also true. So, with this, we come to an end of this discussion. We have covered uh, vocabulary, then we have covered, we have, under vocabulary we have covered the unscrambled question, then we have covered fill in the blanks and also true or false. So now there are a few question answers and uh, a few reference to context. So these will be provided, both this question, the remaining part will be provided in your notes. So I hope students you enjoyed this lesson. And had a great time. And now the home assignment. Students, the activities that we discussed today has to be written in your English notebook. Okay. You don't have any link. But then you need to complete this activity. Fill in the blanks, true or false, vocabulary. Everything should be written in your English notebook. That's the home assignment in this session. Alright. So thank you so much. Take care.